This week, we're going to be looking at Eternal Audit. The previous week, we considered what happens in the environment around you and the importance of making sure we know that all that's going on. But it's impossible to actually be effective in the environment if you are not aware of your own strengths and your own abilities, but also of your own weaknesses. As Sun Tzu said, if you know yourself and you'll win all battles. He also stressed the importance of making many of the calculations and much analysis before the battle is fought. The general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The general who loses makes but, but few calculations beforehand. It is very important for you to do full and correct analysis and have some understanding of the situation around you. So, so that's Sun Tzu. Over time, there is nothing to be gained from developing good strategies if the organisation is incapable of achieving them. This is a classic error. The idea that you will come up with something saying oh this is what we should do but if you cannot do them then there is not there is no point to them the old tale is of the wise owl who is asked by a tortoise how he can help him to get to uh, to win the races and he said oh you must grow legs like a rabbit and wings like an eagle but of course this is fine but that is not something that can actually be done I've often said that the owl in the story is strategy but he's not operations. But of course, operations must be aligned with strategy. What you're capable of must be at the forefront of what you say when you're designing your strategy. So within this unit, we're going to have a look at a range of tools and techniques for conducting a systematic internal review. And some of these may be familiar with those of you who have already worked in the public sector, but others are, are new and may have been borrowed from the public sector, from the commercial sector. So what are our objectives? Participants will be able to explain the concept of strategic capability. We are trying to get you away from the idea of just thinking about what you are good at, but what are you good at that is actually strategic? What is it that you would actually do that will be of use to you in actually achieving your aims? We'll look at the idea of core and threshold competencies and point out why it's important not to confuse the two and not to spend a lot of time enhancing competencies that are merely threshold. We'll look at the application of the tools, systematically as the internal environment. Of course, it's a little more difficult to this from the environment than the environmental one because this, it's about you trying to work out what your own organisations are like in the terms of the game. And I'll develop a prioritised and robust list of the strengths of which your organisation. The whole point of this thing is, as last week, the environment produced the threats and opportunities that can go into your toes matrix, which we'll discuss later on. Here we're going to be looking at the strengths and weaknesses. Another priority of this lecture is to enforce the idea that the public sector is often more complex and unpredictable than the private sector due to the influence of things like political change, uncertainty, instability and the like. And one of the main influences here, of course, is that we have multiple and competing stakeholders, as we've already mentioned, which is the primary concern of anyone operating this area. So let's have a quick outline of the lecture. We'll cover what is the need for internal analysis. Why do we need to do it? We'll try and get to use the idea of capabilities and competences and what the differences are. We'll look at the idea of sustainable competitive advantage, which of course is a private sector idea, though we talked about the competitive environment last time. But in this case, we're really looking at you carving yourself a unique role, something that makes you as an organisation, you as an individual, make a unique offer offering in your field. We'll Look briefly at a comprehensive internal audit tool, though I've actually mostly put that in the handouts. I think because it's it's quite simple, but it takes up a lot of time, so I don't really think it's necessary to do that here. And then we'll analyse the idea of strengths and weaknesses. And I would like to actually you to think about beyond just saying, "Oh, this is a strength, this is a weakness." We have to really think about the, the idea that some strengths are actually no good to you, and some weaknesses can be ignored. And that's one of the problems that we have to be make ourselves clear and clarified on what we're working on. There are plenty more tools and techniques you may choose to use available in various of the readings and the, t and the textbooks. Before. So let's go briefly.